Good afternoon, I'm Olami Deyadiemi and this is the news update. A political movement is brewing in the federal capital territory of Abuja, known as the Middle Belt, Southern Conquest comparison of men, women and youth with their gender voting, only credible candidates irrespective of political affiliation. The group, which had its Congress in Abuja on Thursday, is demanding a social contract from candidates who desire its support at the coming general elections. Speaking to journalists at the event, leaders of the group say there is a new shift in the FCT and the group being a multi-partisan platform of like minds is desirous of credible leadership for the people of the FCT to support any candidate that is ready to meet the demand needs an aspiration of the conquest and a return be voted for massively. The conquest did not, however, hide its preference for obedience, an acronym used to describe supporters of the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter B. come 2023, but insisted that it will determine who gets into the two parliamentary seats, that is uh, the Senate and House of Representatives reserved for the FCT come 2023. The need to sanitize the polity, ensure that only fit and proper persons occupy political offices and enthrone equity and justice makes it imperative to raise the bar even higher by demanding that all presidential and gubernatorial candidates take drug tests, as well as undergo medical and mental assessment tests to ascertain the, their readiness for the noble and stressful task of good governance. It is the fact that no candidate with cases of lingering drug dilemma or saddled with corruption charges should even be considered by to be Nigerian president. Any candidate who cannot account for their source of wealth are of questionable character. Nigerians deserve to have a peaceful nation, a peaceful society. Nigerians deserve to have, you know, an egalitarian society, an egalitarian nation. Nigerians deserve better than what we have now. Where food is too, too, too expensive for the poor masses to afford. That is not the national agenda. This country is blessed in diverse ways. The vast rich land in northern Nigeria and other parts of Nigeria should not be here and then we are said to be lacking food on the table. So national agenda here will be how do we ensure that the abysmal state of our nation is not in any way sustained, especially as we are going for the election. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.